Ah, those tunes bring me back to a simpler time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Asshole After the Dark. Yeah, today we will be playing Skyrim! By, by popular choice, of course. Um, there we go, Skyrim! By popular choice, of course. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, I've had... I had three options left, or three options to stream, and um, instead of choosing myself, I just threw it threw it out in the crowd. And this was your choice by a landslide, I might add, considering the amount of votes. <laughs> by a landslide. Hey, hello. Good evening. How are you doing, madam? Lounging on the. Uh, on the set outside once again, or at work perhaps. Um, that 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 I have to say, guys, that looked pretty good. I'm excited, and hopefully we have some sun out. Not as much as now, but uh, here, but like you know, some sun out, and it's like a nice, cool breeze, and then we can sit outside because that place looked pretty cool. You guys set up there, so I'm excited, super hyped. Um, which of course brings me into the pre, um, pre-stream announcements. Um, um, I always do announcements before the stream, at the start of the stream and at the end. Same announcements. <laughs> um, yes, this is the final, this is the final stream of the week on this channel. Uh, this Saturday I will be over at uh, twitch.tv slash bookfish35, um, where we will be playing I wanted to say Skyrim, but it's not Skyrim. We're playing Skyrim now. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, well, yeah. It's currently raining. Oh no! I I I shall bring the sun now. I shall I shall praise the sun, and then tell it to move over to England. <laughs> that's that's how I'm going to do this. <laughs> um, yeah. So Saturday. We've got a stream over at uh, Bookfish, the Rats in the Basement. Very exciting episode, I'm really excited for it because the quest line is going to end. The quest line is hopefully going to end. Assuming that the party just doesn't drop it and move along and next chance they get. But hopefully they're going to get the quest line done uh, this time around. And that's going to be really fun. And then seeing them struggle to choose where to go next and argue and discuss on what to do next. Because I've thrown out... I've been counting the plot hooks that I've been throwing out. Or like in my head, not exactly. But I've been counting about the amount of plot hooks that I've thrown out. And I came out in around 7 to 8-ish possible quests they could undertake. So there's like seven or eight options, and that's just the options that I created. I'm not even talking about the options that the players themselves create. It's D&D &D after all, that's the ultimate sandbox. The players can do whatever they want, and... I've got some creative players at my party, which is really cool, so... We're going to see what they're going to come up with. Are they going to go with either one of the eight pre-made quests, or are they just gonna literally tear shit up? Uh, I'm expecting the last one. To be fair, judging by their record uh, over the past two years that we've been playing, um, it's gonna be uh, they're going to ignore everything that I made and they're going to go straight for their own thing, uh, which is cool. Which is cool. Uh, I, I prepare my quests with love and attention and care, and I dedicate my time to it. But I don't mind if I eventually have to throw it out all all out of the window. Um, because the party is going to do something else. It's uh, it's part of being a DM, and it's part that I don't mind. Uh, I actually love when people do shit that I don't expect. So that's gonna be cool. So Saturday, D and D. That that was a bit long winded, but I like talking about D and D, as you might well imagine. Um, so yeah, Saturday D and D. The next week, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get my two uh, casts back in. Monday, uh, Dark Souls. And Wednesday, if all goes well, Fortnite releases this Friday, Fortnite, uh, which is a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Um, it releases this Friday, and Book and I both have a 
have a copy of the game and we're hoping to play on Wednesday because I know books got a Wednesday schedule as well on a stream schedule. I've got a Wednesday uh, part on my stream schedule. So hopefully it's going to be Monday Dark Souls, Wednesday uh, duo stream with book, both on our own channels at the same time, uh, playing Fortnite together. Uh, that's going to, this is the, like the basic plan that is in place right now. I'm going to do everything in my power to, uh, to get the plan rolling. Um, in other news, my best friend is coming along tomorrow, uh, in real life. We're going to play Civilization 6, because he's totally into Civ 6 at the moment. And I am going to try and convince him to do a duo stream. It might not be tomorrow. That might be a bit scary, but I am going to, we both have a holiday, um, so I am going to try and convince him to do a duo stream during our holidays at some point. And uh, that's going to be cool. Hey, Death Punk, how have you been? Have you seen the end Daryl mod? I have not seen it. I have heard a lot about it. Um, but this Skyrim is slightly modded, not, not... There are no big mods in here just yet. I, I started out like this is my very first Skyrim mod experience. Um, so, you know, I'm starting out light. <laughs> I'm not going into the big heavy stuff just yet. This has cost me two days already just to get this version running. And it's not even with heavy mods in it. Um, but it's taken me two to three days worth of effort to get this version running. And all it has are some light uh, graphics mods, some new armor, some new weapons, a new companion, a new quest line, a new player home, and cloaks. Yeah, cloaks of Skyrim is part of it. And then some graphical updates and weather effects. That's what it's got, and nothing more. <laughs> I'm like, I start slow, man. <laughs> But I might. Also, I have never finished the main quest of this game, which is actually a sort of like, I want to do that at some point sort of thing. Like, not get distracted too much by side quest stuff and try to hone in on the main so I can actually see the end of this game for a change. That would be cool. Um, so yeah, and after uh, next week, where, we, where I hopefully have those two casts, uh, I'm going to England, which is going to be cool. They'll sing, da da dum 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 dee, dee dee dee. <laughs> hey Phil, how you doing sir? Just talking to the, I'm just going through my announcements and my last announcement that I have to make is that next week, I'm going to England. It's gonna be great. But you know this already of course, cause you orchestrated the whole thing, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be awesome and I'm really freaking looking forward to it. I am doing great, I am enjoying my holiday. Um. We've done some emotional stuff today. We uh, uh, we went with the uh, I be I believe urn is an English word, right? Uh, we went with that uh, to the uh, funeral guy who arranged our funeral. We uh, saw the ashes of a dad, which was well, I saw the ashes of my dad, which was slightly emotional, as you might imagine. <laughs> But other than that, you know, I've been enjoying my holiday, and you know, I we cleaned out uh, we cleaned out his uh, computer part stuff, not the computer itself, but he has like this this uh, cabinet with uh, all the CDs and the discs uh, still in it. Uh, we cleaned that out, and um, again, we saw some videos and some pictures of him. Again, very emotional, of course. Well, I'm doing great. Uh, other than that, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing fine, Phil. Um, it's uh, it's sometimes emotional, but that's you know allowed. Uh, obviously, it's a thing. Um, but other than that, um, like I'm not emotional all the time, if you know what I'm saying. So it's it's it is as it is. And also, I have a holiday, which is really great because. I, I love my job, but work was sort of pressing down on the whole time to process the whole thing thing. So 
I'm glad that uh, I've got some holiday now, some work behind me. Um, um, so I can have some time to process stuff. Also, my best friend is coming over tomorrow, which is great as well. Um, we're going to play some Civ 6, because he's totally into Civ 6 at the moment. And I'm going to try and convince him to do a duo stream. Possibly not today, uh, or, or tomorrow I mean. But I'm go going to try and convince him that after England, we might do a duo stream. We did one with Age of Wonders, so I'm sure... Yeah, you know him, you've, saw, you've seen him on my birthday. Um, we did one with Age of Wonders, so I'm, I'm, he's, you know, he's cool with Twitch, uh, his voice at least, on Twitch. Um, so we're going to try and do that one. I'm going to try and convince him to do one with me on uh, Civ. Alright, that's all the announcements done, so all in all, if everything goes well, I have three more casts to do, Monday, Wednesday, and this Saturday. Uh, before I go to England. So it's this Saturday and then Monday and then Wednesday if all goes well And it's gonna be Dungeon Dragons, Dark Souls and Fortnite um, As the as the games to be cast um, Those are the announcements as I said lightly modded before I jump into new game, which I'm going to do shortly um, The I've played through the first scene to test out the mods. I've played through the first scene uh, three times um, and two times it went pretty well, once it went with a little bit of finickiness, uh, not changing anything, so it goes well in general, but it's a bit finicky, so apologies for that, but uh, yeah, I've been talking a lot now, I've been talking for 20 minutes now, uh, let's jump in, shall we, boom. So, expect a little finickiness in this scene. But, you know. <laughs> Should all go well in the end. The main thing, I think, is that... Uh, because I did, like, a climate... Uh, I did, like, a climate change uh, mod. Uh, so that the sky looks better and everything. Uh, I think this scene has a problem with that. Because it's, like switches over from this cold climate in the mountains to this more sunnier climate down at the execution bit so it's that's kind of finicky but other than that we're good also you can see the first mod at work here right here cloaks of skyrim this guy now wears a cloak which is cool because people wear cloaks when it's cold right so you know that's cool it's also a really beautiful cloak if, even though I say so myself. <laughs> so first mod at work, folks. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Yes, I am. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. That thief. Damn you, stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. But they hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me, we shouldn't be here. It's yes. The storm cloaks the empire. Wants. Yes, I agree. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. Can't just turn on the cloak not to keep you warm. High King. Uh, the Jarl I, I I do know that You're you have to make your own cloaks at the Captain tailoring you. station in this game as well. Oh, That's for sure. Are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard away. All right, here we go to the climate change. Let's hope this it's not happening. too finicky. As you can see, there's like hey, snow mist and. What village are you from, horse thief? Oh, it's okay. Why do you care? It's holding on. A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Who says I'm a Nord? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm from Rorikstead. <laughs> General Talia, sir, the headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Divines are not gonna help you, sir. But the graphics definitely improved with these mods. I can already Look see the improvement. You. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. 
I bet they had something to do with this. Doing some nice camera panning to show you guys what they're talking about. Mm hmm. I'm a director. <laughs> uh, this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vlad is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. But yeah, I know you can tailor your own cloaks uh, with the cloaks of Skyrim uh, mod. So. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. I wonder where the crowd is. Why are we stopping? Was it like Why medieval times the when line. there was an execution there was crowd? Went with the alternative style, not quite nice. Let's go. After the <laughs> I see yeah. for us. No, wait. yeah, I don't know, I, I like the uh, I like the original start for sure. You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. I don't know. I like this start Olympic for some reason. Stormcrow. It's it's pretty cool. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. And also, it's been a while since I've played Rain Skyrim, so it's been a while since I've seen this start. Other than the five or six time I've seen it today testing mods, but other than that. <laughs> no, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! Oh, there he goes. Anyone else feel like running? Wait, you there. Step forward. Oh yeah, I've been killed by the car. I've Who been are you? I've been killed by the car. The what I see mostly is that the screen just goes like this. And that is oh man, it's so blinding. Because the screen just does like this, the camera, which is like ooh, it turns around and it flips you, it's really weird. And I've seen the car get stuck. The the horse basically just took a left and <laughs> just stood there at the wall. And I was like, okay, now how are we going to move forwards? It, it just stood there like uh, 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 some weird stuff, man. It's it's really cool though. All right, we can pick a race. Let's start at the top. It's the Argonians. I've played the Argonians in Oblivion. They were pretty cool. Hey, Sky, how are you doing? It's a Phil Wall indeed. He, he's got, you know, he's got a lot to say. You, you know this. Phil, Phil does like to say a lot. <laughs> Have you ever seen his streams? <laughs> oh, how are you doing, Sky? Uh, this rotating race well suited for treacherous swamps. Mm. I don't know. I li I like this race, but we'll see. The Bratons. King of the Britons. King of the Bratons. In addition to the cricket set to craft a spellcraft. A resistance to magic. Resistance to magic is nice. Full of Chinese. Oh, very nice food. Uh, we ate. Uh, Broccoli, broccoli. I I don't even know if you freaking say that the same in English, but it's like green stuff. We ate green stuff and uh, tetos, tetos, precious. Would you be finding my bread? Of course, yes. And I can't alt tap out of this game because then it it gets really weird. Uh, so I couldn't quote them. There's my excuse. Of all, of, in all the modding stuff, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even think of putting this in window mode. I was so busy modding this stuff. <laughs> all right, we can be a Bratton. Resistance to magic is nice. Uh, we can be a dark. I don't want to be a dark elf. Dark elves in this uh, in Skyrim are terrible evils. Well, Thalmor, really, but... Also known as Altmare. Mm, new... 
Yes, we have broccoli. Then, then broccoli it is. Broccoli is probably called broccoli in, in English, I'm going to assume. <laughs> anyway, gold coins. Ah. The voice of the emperor now. Kashit. Do, do we want to be a cat? Intelligent, quick and agile. Broccoli and potato. Yeah, the, the, the book did some uh, some stuff with the broccoli. Like added, added ham. And it, it wasn't just broccoli. It was like this mixture of like broccoli and ham and there was like cheese in it or something. It, it was... I don't, I don't know exactly what was in it, but it was tasty. <laughs> I know there was ham in it. Uh, that For sure. Uh, Ser Serrano. Which was... Oh my god. Book <laughs> that stuff with the broccoli. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, this is true. Sky. <laughs> uh... The Nords. They. Uh, mm. Opponents flee. I, I don't see opponents fleeing as a good thing. The Orcs! Berserker Rage. Do we want to go on a Rage? Ooh, Red Guard. I've played some Red Guard. And stuff, yeah. Yeah, there was Serrano ham in it. I know that for sure. I, Serrano, Serrano. I don't even know if you pronounce that right in English, but I guess. I guess that's a brand, so or like a type. Cauliflower. Uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of cauliflower, I have to admit. I like it, or I, I, I don't mind it, but it's... Mm, I prefer broccoli. Broccoli is nice. Natural resistance to poison. The wood elves. Poison and disease. Um, we're <laughs> learning a lot. <laughs> yes, I should have called this stream. Uh, um, education. I should have streamed this in real, like IRL, like category IRL, and just called it like learn to know astral or something, because I've been talking about me and not really playing the game just yet. <laughs> uh. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm in a talky mood. No idea. Um, yeah, I don't want to be an elf, that's for sure. Got to hate casters. <laughs> oh, casters, that, that kind of casters, yeah, I know, right? I know, Phil. I, ju I just want to see speedruns and, like, people playing the games and like Starcraft pros who just don't talk stuff like that that's what I want to see on Twitch <clears throat> because social interaction man I do that enough in my job <laughs> oh god oh, where's the kappa button when you need one as a caster all right I think I'm going with a Breton a Breton and the reason why is because uh, king of the Bretons the reason why is because they have a resistance to magic and they can absorb spells. And if I want to go melee or fighting against caster, even if I am a caster myself, absorbing spells just seems seems decent. I know. It just I like it. Yes, I want to be a Breton. Can I go to the Ah, yes. I'm a guy, of course. Let's let's check out the presets. Too bold. Too scrawny. Ooh. This looks like a beggar type too. That's that's for sure. Oh. Mohawk. Rockin' that mohawk. The old guy. The young guy. I'm just going to name all these presets. The mustachio guy with the shifty eyes and the guy in a metal band. All right, 
<laughs> the guy in a punk rock band and the guy in a metal. This is the guy in a punk rock band. And this is the guy in a metal band. All right. I think I'm going... I'm going to tinker with it, of course. But I think I'm going with... Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, I missed this one. Hmm. This one's actually pretty okay. This one too. I, I don't I don't mind the metal the metal band guy. Is that oh I'm not even oh wait. This is way easier. It's that's darker. That's like vampire style without even being a vampire. I mean, I've seen some sun, right? It's sunny in this game now and outside as well, so... Must have seen some sun. Ooh, that's, that's very scrawny. That's like, get something to eat. Type. Guess I'm slightly muscular. Because I'm not in real life and this is a video game. We can be muscular. Alright. Ooh, add some dirt. Just throw some dirt in the face. There you go. Well, we've just been dragged through the country. So, I guess some dirt does fit in the situation we're at. I'm looking behind the ground here to see the dirt color, but that fits the best, I think. Yeah, I think this is fine. Add some scars, yeah! We've been through some battles, of course. I always go... I don't know why, but in these types of games, I always go with scars for some reason. Just because, you know, we've been through battle. My, my Mass Effect character also has scars. It's like, you've been through battles, right? You've been an adventure. You haven't taken an arrow to the knee just yet. And... Yeah. Something like that. I don't need the whole ho the Hound situation going on and everything being uh, messed up, but... Yeah, something small like that is cool. Get some wall paint. Ooh. Good character. Evil character. Good character. Evil character. <laughs> uh, I don't see a wall paint uh, density button. So it's kind of weird to have that much wall paint. Oh, that's a uh, Uruk High Gone Wrong War Paint. It's supposed to be like this, not like that. <laughs> hey, DJ! How you doing, sir? How's life? Life is life. La 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 la. La 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 life. And I should have added a War Paint mod. It's not really much decent stuff. Let's just forget the wall paint. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Enjoying my holiday. This is my officially, officially my first day. But uh, you got a filly yesterday. Nice, DG. Awesome. Very cool. Enjoy your affiliatedness with Twitch. But yeah, this is officially my first day of holiday and I'm already enjoying it. Yeah, I got four weeks, man. If I'm correct. Till the 21st of August. They're letting any... Yeah, that this is true. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I... I sorry, DJ. I forgot it was a sky... Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I forgot it was a squad sky comment. <laughs> uh, at this point. Uh, but uh, it's technically a zoo. <laughs> Whoa, Astral. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Unsub. Unfollow. Uh, ban forever. Oh, these noses. I think the first news. I forgot there was a sky comment. Yes. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I didn't read the name uh, behind who was saying it. Thus, I f forgot it was a sky comment. I didn't even know in the first place it was a sky comment. Thus, I didn't even forget it. I could not technically forget it. Because I didn't know it. Because I'm now trying to talk myself out of it and it didn't it doesn't work. <laughs> uh. Actually this nose type is fine too. Oh don't don't not a higher nose. 